Hi, this is the second part about AV weather conkeys. That's this one that's active. How do I know it? I go to the conkey chooser or in XFCE to conkey zen. And then you click here and you see alphabetically um, logos. That's this one. We've changed it and I explained how to change the color in another tutorial. And then we explained and um, that we can make a copy and that we make this one, Red Eric. So we activate this one and we saw that there is a little bit difference in between this thing and that thing. That's quite normal. And why is that normal? Because when you go and we edit this conkey, that's one way to go in open box. But let's do it this way. If you go to the config, to the conkey, to the AP, just type it. So we have uh, this one, the red Eric. If you open this one, we can see that it's going to get somewhere um, he needs to get these uh, pictures so at some place I'm scrolling through it there are there's a mention here of a current PNG and he needs to get pictures from somewhere so let's see that later um, we need to get um, coloring from images weather icons and we have these things here this is probably the red one and this might be the red one i'm not sure uh, green blue orange orange red don't think it's orange red so it probably is the red one so it's getting the images from here and these are three images that are a possible uh, possibility that's that icon and we need to recolor them so let's go and look for the 64px and as it's very long we type control find 64 there it is red so now we are sure that the images are coming from there and we can rename it for instance we can say let's rename the icons and these will be my icons my folder so i'm adding eric behind it it's quite easy to remember then and it's not difficult to change all you do is Ctrl C, Ctrl V, then go inside F2 and you type Eric. So now all the images are coming from here. This conkey is using this folder. We can try it and see if that's reload. Okay, and there you go. There are still images, so it's coming from there. The question is now we should change these colors and we have this little program that's available what does it say it says for every file name in the folder that's named anything you want anything dot png to the file echo file name what's the file name for every file this is a variable this variable goes in there so file name one file name two file number three what do you do with it and you can going to convert the file name and a bit fuzzy on the percent fill a different kind of color here is the color opaque white file and done okay basically it's gonna say let's take the color from here and ex exchange this color with something else so we need to tell them what kind of red we want and I hope it's still open. It is open. So if it's not open, you go check again. What was the color of red in our logo? The logo we created a few tutorials ago. It's very simple. You have the logo activated. Click on one, click here, and you have the color. A little bit variance in between them. But I'm going to take this one like so. And that's that find a bit strange that there is a difference but anyway we're gonna change this one to that one no nope. let's get rid of an act and, and one hashtag to watch here and we're gonna save it now nothing happens of course not we need to run this thing now making something run is the easiest way to do it is tell the system look guy you are actually a program, you're an application. 
he doesn't know he can he can be run. I mean that he has a, can be a command. So what I'll do, easiest way, I think, is typing dot sh, which is a shell, and that makes it also visible for me. It's it's um, uh, educational. It's sound that we have an application and the application looks like this it's a terminal it's an s from a black terminal we can run this thing but in order to run it the icon has changed but not the fact that it's not able to run so allow this file to run as a program now you can run it well, maybe this is a bit soon it's uh, tutorial 11 I'm gonna show you anyway open terminal here we need to learn about the terminal we can ask a list ls and you see already that it's green there's a reason why it's green ls minus al green and here it says an x and maybe it's already interesting to know that the X stands for execute. All right, so we're gonna execute this one. How do we ex execute it? If I double click it, it's, it opens, that's it. We have to open a terminal here. Let's move it over here with Windows 6 on my touchpad, my keypads to the right. There are arrows and numbers and so Windows 6 moves it to the right. And again, my screen key is not on. I, uh, I think it's here, but I do not show it. So the best tip ever, if you're on open box, you use your super or Windows key. And if you have a separate numeric pad, that's great because it means you can tile it any way you want just by pressing super key and then go over the, all the numbers on your numeric pad and it tiles it automatically. That's great. Same applies with arrow up, arrow down, arrow down, arrow up, arrow to the left, arrow to the right, so on. So that's a, a neat trick in OpenBox. Now we're going to run it. So uh, this is the name convert. The trick is you have to put a dash, a slash, and then you have to type the C. That's enough. And then press tab and you'll write everything else he knows there's only one c available in the whole directory so he knows it's going to be that application he wants you want to run and then we just run it and we hope for the best i do not see anything changed then again the red was a little bit the same so let's see if we can figure it out maybe we can just do another test and that's this test so remember that's the one we need so i'm gonna copy paste it and let's make it f f f f f f all lights are on this is white now we're sure so okay one thing has changed all of them have changed that's a little trick you need to know you need from time to time refresh uh, file managers, Nemo, Nautilus, and this one is Tunar. You need to push them. So come on, check again F5. As you see, the colors have been changed. So Ctrl Z works, of course, here as well. So this is the red I want. Run it again. And now you see it happened here F5, push. And here you go. From now on, we'll have new icons. They are called Red Eric. And they are also in here. Let's find Eric. That's one Eric. The next one. Here is the 64 pixels Red Eric. So we're using those, one, those icons. So that's fine. Let's do a reload. To be sure if we are having a better view now it's still mostly the same it's um it depends maybe let's take a look at that as well cache there's this current thing here not sure if he 
knows that it has changed so i'm deleting the cache there's a cache folder and the last little icon icon is gone i'm gonna re-ask to run the conky and see what happens no not so much difference but then again we had this um, red icons already and we do not see not so much difference so a lot of work for no results but anyway if you make it green and blue and other, um, different colors you'll see the difference one thing is another idea i just have is take this color here this blue color put here something blue maybe this blue and so on so a lot of things you can do just choose your beautiful wallpaper that you have and then start changing have fun